Hello and welcome once again to Breakfast All Day. I am Christy. That is Alonzo. Somewhere here is Matt. Next up for us is a really strange little indie called Save Yourselves, which I think has an exclamation point on the end it of it. It does indeed. Okay. And, uh, and it earns it. No, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, so yeah, this is a 30-something Brooklyn couple played by Sunita Mani of Glow and John Reynolds of Search Party uh, are addicted to their screens like everybody in the world is. And when a friend of theirs offers them uh, a cabin in upstate New York, they decide they are not only going to get out of town, they are going to unplug for the week. No phone, no laptop, no screen, no nothing, and just, you know, spend time together in nature. That doesn't entirely work, and then it gets even more complicated when it turns out that they have picked the moment of an alien invasion to get away from civilization, and once they figure out what's going on, uh, they have to try and tap into some sense of being survivalists, even though they generally have no idea what they're doing, uh, which is what I would do in a crisis. Uh, anyway, this is written and directed by Alex Houston Fisher and Eleanor Wilson, who are both first timers. And uh, if you watch Search Party or uh, Broad City, it's that kind of millennial humor um and i think it's funny and it, it it's it's it is a character-based comedy that uh just happens to also be a science fiction movie and they look like tribbles they do they do i that, I, I said in my review they were like they were the best sort of creatures on a budget since uh attack the block yeah they are they they, they actually think that this is like an ottoman like a little yeah. furry a little furry <laughs> ottoman that's like a piece of furniture in in the cabin where they're staying this feels like the kind of indie movie where, like, they had a location, <laughs> and, then, and then they built a story around it, right? Like, Probably, yeah. Like, oh, I I know a cabin we can get <laughs> for cheap, and then because most of it takes place either in their apartment in Brooklyn or in this mm -hmm. cabin, or in the like woods, one scene or the woods, where there's like one quick scene at a bar. Right. And so yeah, they, they do make the most of their space. You mentioned this is a character-driven comedy. I kind of didn't feel like I knew that much about them. I mean, I guess they who, really? they who they are comes through in how they respond to these things. But like, what are their jobs? I think she's a personal assistant. Uh, and then she gets fired when she says she's leaving town for a week. I'm not entirely clear what he does, but it was some, it's some, one of those sort of web base things that the kids do now. I, I don't know. I felt like I got a very clear picture of them. Like there's a great scene early on where she gets mad at him because he closed all of her tabs and she had her tabs <laughs> all organized and she gets him to apologize. He's like, I'm sorry for the thing you said. And then like, she makes him like actually say what it was he did that he's apologizing for. And I just thought that was a very kind of recognizable kind of couple moment. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought they were really good. I like the performances a lot. I think they're really well written. I think, this is the kind of movie that makes me wish that there was some sort of commercial viability to short films, mm -hmm. because I think it would be a great 45 minute film. Yes. Yes. It feels it's stretched a, out. Yeah. It's a mostly good 93 minute film, but like, I think that it, it doesn't quite have enough juice to do everything it wants to do. But if they had really just kind of like boiled it down to its essence, I think they're on to something. Their rapport is really funny. The the situation is is interestingly kind of unfolded as the as the things proceed. Um, so yeah, it doesn't entirely work, but I, I I admire what this movie is going for, and I think it hits most of its targets. I admire what it's doing. Is it's we you know with a, a low budget. Clearly, it's probably a very short shoot, low budget. They have nice chemistry with each other, um, but they felt to me like an idea of millennial characters who are, mm. you know, 30, early 30s. She's and 30, he's 34. Right, and still no real career, you know, yeah. and still kind of piecing it together and still have kind of like shitty furniture and, you know, they still go to the same bar, have the same conversations. And those elements of their personalities kind of felt to me like, cliches of, oh, of characters rather than actually fully developed characters. But then like I, once once the action kicks in and they're called upon to actually think in the moment, mm -hmm. that is more revelatory as far as who they are and, and who they realize they are to each other. 
Like, I don't know. I, I found them really recognizable. I think it's, it, we've seen a lot of characters that are just kind of like easy joke, like, oh, I'm on, I'm online all day. Like the young Seth Rogen in American Pickle, for instance. Yeah. And whereas these, I don't know, they, they, the way, I mean, yes, they were a, a, obsessed with their gadgets and addicted to them, but in a way that to me felt recognizably human, like it felt like people of the now, you know, and not just like some 50 year olds idea of what people of the now would be doing, you know, uh, you know, in that, in that Steve Buscemi with a skateboard kind of way. Um, I, yeah, I don't, for, for me, it worked. I bought it and I, I, I thought they were really fresh and maybe that's just because of the, the performances, but I thought the writing kind of backed that up. And so I, I felt like once everything starts going haywire, they've established them enough so that you can understand what they're going to do and why and what's going to drive their various motivations with things. I love the speech that he has where he talks about how, how he, he's, he's down on himself because he doesn't know how to do like man things and how he goes, you know, I, I always felt like because I, because I couldn't do it, then I had to just sort of reject the sort of man stuff that my dad could always do and my brothers could do, but I can't do the new man things <laughs> either. <laughs> I found so, that whiny. <laughs> I, but it, I, but it, I, it felt legit. Like it felt like I, I knew where that was coming from, and I, I, I feel that way sometimes. And I know a lot of dudes who like, yeah, you, you, you can't change a carburetor, but you also can't change a diaper. You know, like you can't do any of the things in either of the categories where you're supposed to be of some use to somebody. And then it just kind of ends. I feel like they didn't know how to end it. Like the end idea of the ending and it just, oh, let's just end Yeah, it. the ending's a little bit of a raised eyebrow, but I'm going to sit on it for a while and All give right. them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it just hasn't hit me yet. You know? I mean, I don't need them to explain to me what this exactly is, but the way it does end is sort of like a shrug. Like, huh, okay. Yeah, but I... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll check back with me in a month. Maybe I'll have thought of something that it makes it make sense. I don't know. <laughs> I am saying 5.8. Uh, I said 7. Okay. So that's what? That's 6.4. Uh, yes. Where is Save Yourselves playing? Uh, Save Yourselves is uh, for rent uh, as a streaming video on demand title. So I don't think it's in virtual cinemas. I think it's like on like iTunes and Amazon and youtube in those places it can be found it can be found uh so yeah so thanks for watching uh like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel uh follow us on uh the social medias at be fast all day and check out our patreon page at be the patreon.com slash be fast all day it's where we're still recapping the vow and lovecraft country and very soon season two of the mandalorian as well as other cool exclusive stuff for our subscribers so check it out thanks for watching you guys see you next time bye